Hi guys, it's Sasha with Pinwheels Quilting in Valdosta, Georgia. We've had some requests on how to put your borders on your quilt, and I'm going to show you our way. Um, if you put your borders on this way and you use a long armor to long arm your quilts, he or she is going to love you. Um, it's just a, a really, really great way just to make sure that you continue the consistency from the piecing of your quilt. Now with that being said, um, it's a really, really good idea when you're piecing a quilt just to make sure your blocks are measuring what the pattern says they're supposed to measure as you go along. Sometimes you are going to have to square them up, um, but just have that consistent quarter inch seam the whole way through just so when you finish that quilt top before you put the borders on, it lays flat. If it lays wavy, um, that just means that maybe your um, seams weren't consistent or maybe the blocks weren't squared up to the size that they were supposed to be. So when you're um, starting with putting the borders on, it's just a really good idea to make sure the quilt's laying flat um, and we are ready to begin. Okay, so what you're gonna need um, for this, you're just gonna need a measuring tape, um, I like to have a piece of paper and a pen just to kind of jot things down as I go. Um, just a little marking pen, a ruler, cutting mat, and some actual pins to pin your quilt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide whether I want to do the sides first or the top and bottom first. So um, you're not going to skip around and do the bottom and then the side. We're either going to start with the sides or start with the top and bottom. I'm choosing to start with the sides. So what I'm going to do first is I need to go ahead and measure my quilt. Now you may have already measured your quilt if you used a border calculator, which those are great and I love them. Um, it's just a nice easy way to know what size to cut your strips and not have to sit there and calculate all of it. Um, so I love the border calculators, those are great. Since I'm starting with the sides of my quilt, I'm going to take a measurement and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna take a measurement on the right side of my quilt, down the center of my quilt, and then on the left side of my quilt. So let's go ahead and do that. So I am just using a little retractable measuring tape, greatest thing ever. Um, so that measures 42. So then we're gonna do the same in the center. I'm just doing it real quick just to show you, but 42 and then the other side, 42. Okay, so since my quilt is square and I have the same measurement, 42, 42, 42, it's perfect. Um, so that's actually what size I need to cut my strips to, um, my first inner border strip. So I went ahead and um, I laid these, the left and right borders, I laid them out and I measured with my measuring tape to 42 inches and I went ahead and trimmed them off. So both of these borders measure 42 inches. Okay, so what if your quilt isn't a consistent number when you're measuring the left side, the center, and the right side? All you're gonna do is you're going to take the average of those three numbers and cut your borders to that. So say for example, one of your sides measures, just using really simple, easy numbers, one side measures um, nine inches. One side, um, one side measures 10 inches and the other side measured 11 inches, right? So add nine plus 10 plus 11, divide by three, that gives you 10. So all that's telling you is you are going to cut your left and right border to measure 10 inches. Even though one side is an inch longer, one side is an inch shorter, um, we're gonna actually show you how to work that in. So just take the average of the left side, um, center and right side, and cut your borders to that. All right, so what we're gonna do now that we have this is um, I'm gonna take the first border, I'm just gonna work with the right side first, make sure you can still see me. Okay, what I'm gonna do is zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm working with here. And I'm going to take this 42 inch border and I'm gonna fold it in half, line up your raw edges, and I'm gonna actually finger press the center. So you want to crease it so that you can see it. So I'm kind of pressing it pretty hard with my fingernail and then you want to open it back up. Okay. So you have a finger pressed center. Okay. Now you are going to take one side of your border and line that raw edge up with your crease that you just made. Just so it looks like this. And you're going to finger press that fold. So basically, um, you're going to repeat it for the other side. Just take that other end 
see how I'm gonna fold it into that finger press center that I made. So we're gonna fold it into there, finger press, and then open up your strip. So when you're finished with this step, you should have a finger pressed, uh, a finger press a quarter of a way down, halfway down, three quarters of the way down, and then have your ends. So that's what you want. All right, I'm gonna set this to the side just for a second. And now we're going to work with our quilt top. Let me zoom in just a little bit on this. Okay, so since I'm ready to put this border on right here, I'm actually going to do the same thing to my quilt that I just did to that strip. So I'm going to line my raw edges up. I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm just going to do a little sharp finger press right along the edge. You can use, if you want to use like a little um, ruler to crease this, but just I'm folding it in half, finger pressing, and then I'm going to open back up. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing that I just did to the border. I'm going to fold the right side into that center mark. I'm gonna finger press, open it back up. Fold that left side to that center mark that I just finger press. I'm gonna finger press there and I'm gonna open. So the, the idea here is that your border strip and your quilt will both have a finger press center um, and then a quarter of an inch or halfway <laughs> Sorry, so you'll have um, your finger press in the center and so you're going to use that to line up um, Where your border goes so you're going to line up your two finger press centers your two finger press um, Quarter marks um, on both sides and then you're going to line up your raw edges at the end So what you're going to do is make sure those are lined up your border is going to get folded right sides together with your quilt top just make sure all those marks are lined up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually pin at all of those marks. So now I'm ready for some pins. I like to just kind of use my fingernails just to kind of get it exactly where it's supposed to go. Okay, so I'm gonna take a pin. I'm gonna make sure that my finger press centers are lined up and I'm gonna put a pin here just to hold this together. So marking it at all these places is going to be really nice if you do have any inconsistencies um, just that's going to help kind of straighten everything out and make sure that border is nice and square I'm going to pin at the end so that the raw edge of this strip lines up with the raw edge of my quilt I'm going to do the same thing at the other end so that the raw edge of the strip lines up with the raw edge of my quilt all right, and then I'm also going to put a pin at my finger pressed marks um, a quarter of an inch. I keep saying a quarter of an inch, but you know what I mean. Um, a, <laughs> a quarter of a way between the raw edge and the half um, mark. So I'm going to pin here. And these pins are just keeping the border where it needs to be so that when you're sewing this border on, your border's not going to shift. You're not going to end up. Um, with excess at either end, it's perfect and exactly where it needs to be. If you do have any excess, um, I'm sorry, if you do have any offset in your measurements, so for example, the nine, 10, and 11 inch example that I gave you, um, what that will do is um, folding it a quarter of a way, halfway, et cetera, that's gonna help spread out that extra. Um, and it's, your machine actually will kind of ease it in. It's really cool how it happens. It's almost magic. Um, and that will be for another video, but um, this is just the best, best way. Okay, we're gonna head to our machine. So a quarter of an inch seam down this border. We're going to press this border open and we're gonna repeat that process for the other side. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, so I'm back. So what I've done since we've been gone is I have sewn these cute little blue borders uh, for the inner borders onto the left and the right side of the quilt. And now we are ready to do the top and the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna take three measurements and find the middle of the three. So we're gonna start here at the bottom. And I have my little, um, I don't know if you can see my little clipboard and I wrote top, middle, bottom. So I can just take the measurement, write it down. So at the bottom, uh, we are 24 and a quarter. I'm gonna go up to the middle, see what this measurement is. So 24 and a quarter. So this is actually going to tell us what we need to cut our top and bottom borders at. And then, so I'll do the top measurement, 24 and a 
24 and a quarter again. Okay, so what you're gonna do then is you're gonna take um, your top and bottom strips, you're gonna cut them to size, which I already did that. These already measure 24 and a quarter. Um, so we're gonna repeat the same steps that we just did. So let's start with the bottom of the quilt. And I just wanna make sure that y'all can see really well what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna take one of my 24 and a quarter inch border strips and I'm going to fold it in half. So fold it in half, right sides together. And I'm going to finger press right there at the center of this strip. Then I'm gonna open up the strip I'm going to take the right side, fold that into the center where, so that the raw edge touches that center finger press mark. I'm going to crease it open. I'm going to fold the left side raw edge into the center. I'm going to finger press crease and I'm going to open. So I have, I can see um, three prominent uh, creases on this strip. Now we're going to do the same thing to your quilt top again. We're going to fold right sides together, make sure those raw edges are lined up so that you know you're getting an accurate center. And here's my center, so I'm going to finger press that just so that it's a, a very distinguished crease. We're going to open the quilt top up, and then I can see that crease right there. So then I'm going to use that crease as my guide so that when I line my raw edges up on the bottom, touch that. Um, right border up to that center finger press line. I crease um, there. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so that I have three distinguished crease marks on the bottom of my quilt, which I do. Um, I can try to zoom in. I don't think y'all are going to be able to see, especially because I have the grass look on the bottom. It's kind of um, almost camouflaged. But then I'm going to put my border right sides together with the bottom of the quilt, make sure my edges, all my raw edges are lined up. And I'm going to first pin at the center. So I'm gonna line the finger press center marks up together and I'm gonna place a pin. Then I'm gonna go ahead and line up um, my right edge. So I want this to be a nice 90 degree angle right here. So the way that this is lined up, I don't want any overage hanging over. I just want to make sure that the raw edges are lined up really nice. So I'm going to place a pin there. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing at the other side. I want everything to line up really nice. And then I'm going to go to, I keep calling them the quarter inch marks, um, but a quarter of away from this edge to here, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a pin here and a pin here. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew along this edge. Um, and then I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the top. So I'm gonna sew all, the rest of my inner border on. I'm going to press it open um, and then I will be back again. I have finished putting the inner border on this quilt. Isn't this adorable? This is from a new line that we have. It's called Honey Bunny this little cute little bunny juvenile quilt so we actually um, needed to make a shop sample and this was perfect because we needed to make the video so we're killing two birds with one stone all right so I think this quilt would be adorable if we had uh, an outer border so I wanted an inner and an outer on this just to showcase the prints and I just like the look I like the look a lot so I'm gonna start with my left and right border again um, so let's start measuring so we're gonna, again, take the measurement here in the center and then on the other side and kind of jot our measurements down and take the average of the three numbers. So um, we'll measure here, 43 and a quarter. Let me come around, measure here, 43 and a quarter, and then here, 43 and a quarter. Okay, I've, I've done this off camera just to save us a little bit of time. Um, and then what I've done is I've laid these strips out, and then I've measured these strips. I've little, marked them with a little pin when we get to the 43 and a quarter mark, and then I have trimmed off the edges. So these strips measure exactly what they need to measure to move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and get another border on. Okay. 
So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this strip. We're gonna fold it in half, finger press, fold one edge into the half mark, finger press, open, fold the other side into the half, finger press, open. We're gonna do the same to the quilt top. If you remember, we're gonna fold it in half, finger press, open, and then fold it in half to that half center mark, finger press open, and then do the same on the other side. We're going to put the border face down, line up um, your center finger press marks. You're gonna put a pin there, and then you're gonna just line the rest of the strip up with the sides, um, making sure that all the raw edges are lined up, it's nice and straight, um, that all of your um, points are pinned. So you're gonna pin, of course, this edge. You've already pinned the center. You're gonna pin the right edge. You're gonna pin at your quarter marks, and you're gonna sew. Repeat the same thing for the other side, since we've already measured and we know the dimensions of the other border on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the sides sewn on, and I'll be back so we can finish up the top and bottom. All right, y'all, so what we have now, we have the quilt, um, we have the inner borders all finished, we have the outer borders, um, the sides done, we still need to do the top and the bottom. So it's coming together, it's super fun to see when this all starts to come together. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same process that we've been doing. So we need to know what length to cut our top and bottom borders. So again, get your measuring tape, measure um, your, the bottom, write that measurement down, the center, write that measurement down, and the top, write that measurement down. And then you're gonna cut the borders. You're gonna take all three of them, and if they're not the exact same size, you're going to average and then cut your borders to that size. So we've already talked about that. I won't bore you with that again, but um, let's go ahead and I am going to um, sew my top and bottom borders on, repeating the same steps we've been doing. So we're gonna take our measurements, write them down, cut your borders to average up to three, or if it's the same number, um, if you're getting the same measurement, top, middle, and bottom, you don't have to average. You just cut them to that measurement. Um, and then of course, you know, we're going to take the border strip, we're going to fold it in half, finger press, open. Fold the right side into the center, finger press, open. Left side into the center, finger press, open. So that you have your finger press creases along the border. You're going to do the same to the top and the bottom of the quilt. Put your borders right sides together, line up all your raw edges, pin at your ends, pin at the center finger press marks, line those two marks up together. Same with your quarter marks that I like to call them. And your top and bottom borders will be on. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna hop away and do that. Get it, because it's bunnies in the pan when I hop away. Um, and we'll be back. All right, you guys, so I'm excited to say I have finished my inner and outer borders. Look how cute this looks. How cute is that? So it's ready for the long arm. Um, I can't wait, it's gonna be so adorable. Um, so when I'm finished, I like to just use starch and a really hot iron just to make sure everything is, that iron is nice and hot and just starch it and look how nice that this lays. So that is how to properly, properly apply your borders. Um, hope everyone is having an awesome day and I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye.